Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. We are at the warehouse. I did a little bit of cleaning as you can see. There's no refrigerator anymore. There's no parts and pieces laying around. No, I just threw all that stuff back there. I wanna pressure wash this floor. We're finally getting some dry weather here. The portion in front of the warehouse is finally drying out. So I don't think we're gonna get as much dirt and debris and mud and silt and everything else. The only problem is, is I, I'm all prepared. I even bought a brand new hose, got my soap, got everything else. But then I look in the corner there and there's no pressure washer. It's at my other garage, my brother was using it. That's the problem with having two locations is now you, you have to go back and forth from time to time. Not only that, but getting a bigger place, you have to clean up more. So there's a lot, and there's a lot more space. So with a lot more space, you just start throwing stuff, throwing stuff, throwing stuff. So there definitely is pros and cons of the new shop compared to the old shop. The old shop was home, it was comfortable. I had to get out of my comfort zone, so that's why I came up here. And plus, this place is huge and it's awesome. I got the pressure washer locked and loaded. I don't know if you can see that or not, but then I also have Crush on the back. I think I had him on the back to begin with. But anyways, I gotta pressure wash him a little bit better. Usually what the strategy is, my strategy when riding Crush, is you ride him, you take him to the car wash, you throw a few bucks at it, you don't throw a whole bunch at it, you just get it, you know, wash where the bearings are, where the brake calipers are, all that, you know, delicate stuff. You get that mud right out of there right off the bat and then eventually make it pretty with my pressure washer. I do that because uh, we live in town, so I don't want to get a whole bunch of mud because you guys see Crush can get a whole bunch of mud on him and it would just destroy our yard. I also have my girlfriend's dead generator on the back. I gotta use that today for the camper. If I get to it, I wanna get to it. So we gotta get to it. But anyways, I got the pressure washer. Gotta go to the warehouse, clean that mess up. Hopefully have a Froggy Fresh clean service door gun. The PCM people wanted me to call them. Thank you for calling. Hi, Melissa. I was supposed to call you about that PCM with the 97 Wrangler with the 99 engine. Please give me a call back as soon as possible. My number is 71. I just got off the phone with Jake and I asked him if he wanted to go riding because Danny wants to go riding. So I don't think I'm gonna pressure wash Crush just yet, but uh, I gotta go pick up Danny's four wheeler. So for that to happen, I believe in the give get system or the barter system. So if he wants me to go get his machine and he wants to go have fun, he's gotta first work for me or work with me. So we're gonna go up and hopefully weld this thing. As you guys saw, I had to cut my door. This was the frame door to the crush carrier. I had to cut it in half because the powder coating company wouldn't, couldn't fit it in their ovens. Jake said he tore his bike apart the first time to see if he could figure out the problem. He put it back together. It didn't run that good, so he took it apart for the second time and he, he didn't finish the job, so now he's going to finish the job today and then hopefully go riding. I told him whether or not he gets the bike going, we gotta go for a rip. I mean, just keep that thing going. Just, just pull her back on the old throttle and just rip it. You don't need to idle. Idling is for warming up purposes. The Crush Carrier, it's looking froggy fresh. It actually isn't looking the best, but it's still, the, the whole idea is still beautiful. We left this piece of the roof there so that it, you know, overhung a little bit so it didn't get all this super, super wet. It still had some sort of protection going on here. This door frame will go right around here and make a seal along these four sides here. It'll come down, obviously this part of the trailer will be cut off, so it'll go up, come down, ride crush right up in there. Obviously there's more that has to happen, but that is the overall idea. So basically this is a moving uh, car, uh... <laughs> basically this thing's a garage on wheels and like a hotel. So it's soon going to be the best of both worlds. We're getting ready to take crush off the trailer. Uh, my buddy Chase is here, he's helping me. Uh, Danny left, we, uh, we actually needed three guys because one guy had to hang onto that, one guy had to hang onto the other side, and then somebody had to weld. I was the welder, Danny was this guy, so Chase was that guy. He was practicing his whole shot so we could hear him. When we saw him right over there, we waved him on. <laughs> so he stopped by and he's giving me a hand. We took this chunk of the frame out. As you can see, there's like a 68 and an eighth missing, if you want the exact measurement. We took that piece, we were running it right along there, we notched it. Uh, if you can see that because the glare is bad. So now what will happen is we'll weld that into place and then weld four hinges there. So now the plan is since Chase came up, he's gonna go riding with us. Jake's uh, bike, we got bad news about that. I'll inform you about that in just one second. But we are gonna go for a rip and, and we're putting this to the side for now because we wanna ride. Uh, I took Chase for a small ride, did you like it? Absolutely, He liked really it. fast. He, he says it handles really well too. Uh, I'm gonna curb it at, uh, the, in the drive-thru right now. Uh, the girl at the, at the radio or whatever you call it the, with the headset, She's trying to take my trailer's order because it's sitting in the spot right now. She tried it like two or three times. Now we, oh. 
Uh, we're done causing trouble at the drive-thru. Now Jake and Danny are here. Jake, this is a this is a rig that you're still hauling around even though it's not yours? Yeah, for today. You're a heck of a nice guy. So what, what are you riding today? I'm a passenger. You're a passenger? Passenger. What happened? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Kaboom! Where's the beta? That's at home. It's at home? Yeah. I mean, a couple days ago, we uh, I understood that uh, you had some issues with it. Uh, it wasn't idling very good. Was it was it still like beyond the idle? Was there plenty of power? Or yeah, 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 it was good. Did but, you uh, still feel a difference though? I don't really know. I uh, had a little issue and uh, don't want to get into it, but I think. What do you mean you don't want to get into it? The, yeah, the YouTubers want to know. Okay, well, I sucked a little dirt in around my air filter. Got my carb dirty um, at some point in between the last race, or I don't know. Anyways, so I think I wore my rings out. I like he's that gonna, shirt. He's, thank you. He's That's gonna froggy fresh. He's gonna compression chest it. See what's going on. Not good at all. No, it does I, not sound I, good. I was super bummed after I cleaned the carburetor and. <laughs> he calls me on the phone. Well, first of all, yesterday you're like, yeah, man, this thing's running poopy, and I found that very funny. Jason found that very funny, yeah. and then he started making smart remarks, and then I said, whoa, 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 Jake's the original toilet snake here, and he's like, yeah, I'm sure he is. But anyways, <laughs> then after that, <laughs> after that. Um, I called up Jake today, and then you you sounded so disappointed, man. You sounded like you wanted to cry. I was I wasn't very happy. <laughs> he's still not very I happy. I have a race this weekend too, so he's so gonna you, take the one. So you're gonna have to overnight shift this stuff. No. So now you're gonna have to spend yeah. the big boy bucks on the yeah, shifting. It just won't be done. <laughs> it just won't get done. Yeah. Okay. Well, and then the the next thing about while we're on the bike subject, a lot of people have <laughs> asked about the uh, Kawasaki, and the truth is the Kawasaki is gone. I sold the Kawasaki. Uh, 3D Machines no longer has the Kawasaki. It was our first bike. It was actually Chase's first bike. It was. It's really ironic that he's in today's production because uh, I'm saying what happened to the Kawasaki and it started with him. Uh, but yeah, we had we had a lot of history with that bike. First bike ever. It's totally gone. Uh, the top end seized. Um, Jake and Seth actually remember that day when you guys had to pick me up. Yeah. That was the. In the back of the sport. Track. Yep. That was the first day that I ever saw the sport track too. And it smelled like a dead whatever it was. Dead mouse. dead mouse. Holy crap. So it's it's crazy how all this is tying. It's, it's like firsts and lasts and blowing up bikes and then uh, new bikes. It's nuts. Jake only has one ramp. So how the heck did you get it in? He had a chintzy wooden one. That's a funny way of spelling 3D machines. I know. <laughs> Can't find, can't find them. That, that's not a very froggy fresh uh, shirt you got there. That thing is sexy, Danny. Thank you. I really like that position of that decal. That's a very, I like that. I'm gonna have to put one on one. mine. While we're on the subject, somebody actually sent me, I was at the, the red light and I got some fan mail and I'm like, hey, I'll just open some fan mail right now. Check this out, Danny. Woo! Isn't that kind of neat? Oh, that's that's for team, Froggy Fresh. Yeah, Team Crush Racing. It's even got the tires that I run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Woo! Somebody sent that. It's from Kestrel C. I'll uh, read more about this right now. I kind of just opened it and I found those stickers. But that's the crew likes them. So that's, it's, they're definitely cool. Thank you. Dude, and you hauled it, man. And I hauled it. So, where's your business card? Can I have it? Because I'll use you in the future. No, I don't, I don't have one. <laughs> Today's victim is Jake the Toilet Snake. Hey, how you doing, Jake? I'm doing well. As we're absolutely killing it through the trails, don't uh, think about your blown up bike at all. Just, uh, just keep that terrible thought out of your mind. Just kind of roll that thing. I think we used too skinny of a wire when we relocated it. Yeah. So I don't think it's getting a full bump. Nice and quiet. 
Grizzly working. Kodiak. Bruin. Kodiak. Oh, you put your K100 in there? Yeah, I, 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 you, you seen me put it in. Oh yeah. What do you mean it bogs down? Like, bruh. Come on. I, I, I don't know. If you wrote it, you would. I think I would probably say it's fine. <laughs> 93 in there and it's probably like what the hell is kind of this kind of gas <laughs> yeah. you, you said you, 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 you said that you always used 89 and don't tell no, me no 87 yeah, 87 the, yeah the lower one yeah, yeah and and don't said no put the 93 in there and get it from quick though so i did that and it's probably like what the f this kind of yeah see if you can follow because it's hard for me to follow you guys oh uh, you don't want to put me up to the test jake ain't gonna be able to follow me are you kidding me jake is that a challenge you want to you, you want to try to keep up with me no okay i don't want to break this thing on danny i don't blame you i'm in a new trail here yeah yeah Lost him in like four seconds. No, he's just playing. He's just playing hide and seek, man. This is his strategy. <laughs> this is his strategy. He's like, I'll just, you know, let these guys find me. I really find it fun. Danny, you flip it yet? You almost did. No. We almost flipped it. Oh yeah. Right yeah. Two wheels. That sucked right in there. Yeah, dude, that this whole this whole rear end wanted to go over over that. That was creepy. Yeah.